welcome to a new video. Today, um, a little bit of an unusual view. I have a top-down view, as you can see, because I want to talk about wallets. I have lately been obsessed with uh, different types of minimalist and small wallets, and today um, I want to talk a about them. So, um, I have three MagSafe wallets and um, three really minimalist wallets. Of course, the infamous Rich Wallet 2. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine different wallets to talk about. First, the MagSafe wallets. Um, this one here is from a company called Moft. And um, it was heavily advertised by influencers back in the day. And it's, I don't know, I think um, for me personally, um, I really didn't like the material. It, it kind of felt cheap and I really didn't use it that often. The magnet was kind of weak, um, but you can fit three cards in there um, comfortably. It does come with a built-in stand, but it it's it it works. Let's just say it works, but um, it's really not my kind of thing. This wallet, and um, for me, one of the biggest gripes in a wallet is always how easy is it to get my cards out of there. Um, so as you can see, you probably by that time you would pick it off your phone and then you have your cards in your hand. Obviously the original MagSafe wallet by Apple, um, kind of expensive, cards fit nicely, it's a very clean look. Um, this head has aged rather nicely. Um, the magnet is okay, but the biggest problem is if you want to take your cards out, you have to pull it off your phone then use this slider button in the back to get to your cards. And the last one, and the one that I actually prefer as a MagSafe wallet, is the one from PopSocket. You can, I think you can actually fit at least four cards in there. The magnet is rather strong. It comes with the PopSocket to hold your phone. And uh, if you want to put out your cards, you can do so by this. And I was able to get my cards out without getting this thing off my phone. But um, not everyone is carrying around an iPhone, at least not here in Europe. So these three are a little bit of a niche product. The other products are, well, kind of more like what you see in your average wallet video on YouTube. I here have the Reform 2. This is the one without the coin pocket. I do have the Reform 1 with the coin pocket, but um, yeah, um, my girlfriend took it and I won't get it back. That's what she said. She really likes it, so I only can review this one here. This one is, um, I have this for like five years now. It's from Secret. Um, it's a very good wallet. It's made out of leather. This used to be a dark brown and you can see the wear and tear and it feels great. And this one is made by Osprey, but I've seen them from different brands like Herschel and so on. So basically it just holds your cards. You can put three cards here on the back three cards and you do have something here where you can put um, some change. This one here, I haven't seen anyone talk about this one, but it's from a company called Spocket. They're um, based in Poland and this wallet is made out of Tywek. They have like a good two dozen different um, designs, prints on them. And as you can see, it feels rather papery, but I also, I bought this back in 2018 and I've used it a bunch. So as you can see, it has some wear and tear, but it still holds up. It's very minimalist, get back to that later. 
the infamous rich wallet everyone loves it well if you're an influencer you love it because you get money from that um, this is the burnt titanium version they are really expensive and um, yeah this is the best wallet if you don't actually need your cards I'll explain it in a little bit and this one here is the card uh, flip case from Bellroy it comes with magnets it looks really nice it's very well made magnets and plastic and leather and you can see here there's a little notch you can open it this way it fits two cards in here and four cards in here and you have this little lip here you can put some bank notes in the front okay let's have a look then i have some unmarked cards that um yeah i will try to fit in those are one two three four five six seven eight nine cards this should i never carry that many cards let's have a look at the first wallet that's the reform an expensive one um but you can load it up quite well let's try two cards in each pocket here and maybe two in here so that's six still closes and still rather minimalist let's see if we can fit more in here that's really no problem there's still a bit room to work around with um let's see if i have any cash lying around yeah so uh, you can still put some cash in here if you would want to and that's a very nice little small wallet and it comes with magnets very nice okay how can you access your cards well if you carry nine cards you have to know where you put your cards but as you can see, you can rather easily um, get your cards out. It's not a big deal. It's not too narrow. It's um, easy to get your cards out, which is a big plus for me. Okay, so this is the first wallet, the Reform 2. Next up is the Secret. Secret comes with a leather and metal you can see this sticker here when i went to the grand canyon and the way this works is it has this button here mine is a little bit worn out because i used it so much uh, let's try this with some cards here well why not let's try nine cards i doubt this will work but we'll see nope won't work seven cards seven cards work and um the other ones we can chuck in here i used to do it like this i put my personal identification card here and my driver license here because they're not rfid relevant and in here you can put some cash in this little fold here and it folds up in a neat little package the cards even after five years of use do not come out well if you pack it that's that much now if we use this one here if you have that many cards in there it's rather hard and you can see it doesn't flip back automatically but your cards are mostly fanned out so you can grab the one you like let's put some less cards in the air and see how it works now see one came out but it's rather easy to get them to fan out and have access to your cards okay so this is the secret wallet an old school very nice um, wallet to have and um, I can recommend it very nice because it's it, it looks classy right and the leather has 
Mine's pretty beaten up. I may need a new one. Okay. The Osprey one, that's a cheap one. I think it was around 15 euro or something like that. So you can fit six cards in there easily. Let's try that out. Okay. And another one. It's a nice package. It's minimalist, but what I don't like is that I can see all my cards like all the time. And um, I don't know, where did I put my money? Well, my mom would be rather disappointed by now because um, I always forgot where I put my money. Okay, so you can put this inside here. Okay, problem with this one is it's a really snug fit. So mm, it's hard to get your cards out. Because you need, if you don't have any fingernails, it's rather hard to get behind this. Once you have one out, it gets easier all the time. But as you can see, it's, it's really not that easy. And the problem is, if you're in a hurry, if you're at the cashier and you need your money, then you even get a bigger problem to, to get your money out of there. It is possible if you have, well, those sausage fingers as me, then you might have a problem because it's a little bit delicate to get in there and out of it. As I said, it's a very snug fit. They will not fall out, but it might be hard to and get them out at first. As I said before, once you have one out, it gets easier all the time. Okay, next one. This was kind of a surprise. They, those are really cheap, like 10 to 15 bucks. They claim uh, for two bucks extra, you get an RFID repellent coating. I don't know if this works. And you have space for six cards. So let's try this out and this will break in over time. So at first, if you use it first, um, it might be a little bit uh, stiff. <laughs> I said stiff, um, but over time it will loosen up. Okay. And the good thing here is you have like a full Okay, it's a trifle and look at this. This is six cards and some cash. And um, it's just as, as thick as the Rich Wallet. Basically the same size, obviously a little bit bigger because you have to fold it. But it's a very good and cheap alternative. And it's really durable. I was really surprised. I thought um, well, maybe this will hold up like um, for a couple of weeks and it's broken, but Tyvek is a really durable material, paper-like. I took this to a trip to Thailand, so it has been in a very humid um, environment. Uh, and as I said, they have like 20, 30, 40 different designs of it. You can get it in carbon gray, in red, blue, with colors on it, with birds on it. Um, it's a really nice and cheap alternative. And uh, they have different versions of that. They have one with a little coin pocket here in the front. They have a bigger trifold version of it. So this is the one I chose because it's very minimalist. It's very cheap. And um, all your cards fit in there. I never use more than six cards. And over time, um, it will break in and looks like this. A very cheap and good alternative. And I don't see a lot of people talk about this because it's always about the rich wallet or Exter or secret and stuff like that. So keep this in mind, the pocket one. Well, my friend, the rich wallet. 
it's a great wallet. It's really well made. And um, you can fit a ton in there. They have accessories like um, they have this one here where you can put an air tag on the back of it. And they have this one here, which is a little like, I don't know, you can put notes in there. Let's have a look at it actually. Comes really well packaged and all that. This is made of aluminum. And um, you can put, do I have my money here? Yeah. So you can fold up the money and you can put it underneath here if you want to. Um, that's the first thing I really don't like. I'm not really uh, one that carries around his cash like this. I don't like when people can see that I carry around a lot of cash. So, I mean, it's not a lot, but you know, you catch my curve. So, but you can put it in here and then um, hide it in here in between because that fits perfectly. So you can have some money stashed in here. So overall, it's a really great wallet. It's a little bit heavy because, well, it's made of metal. Um, the one thing I really don't like, and I hear people talk about this all the time, is how in the hell are you supposed to comfortably get your cards out? You can press here and then the whole stack comes out. So I would recommend that you use your, your most used cards on the top and in the back because once you have to get to one of the cards in the middle I mean you can try to fan them out here it kind of works it's a little bit finicky but the easiest way is to get them all out and uh, play the play the uh, poker game right here one two three four and I'm done um, you can get them in back easily And uh, you have a very nice, well, let, let's actually see how thick it is if we just put six cards. See, it's even thicker than the Spocket one. It's a nice wallet. Mm, it's really well made. They have good customer service, but... Uh, I think it's a good example for, um, uh, it looks nice, but it's not very practical. So you decide for yourself if you want to spend like a hundred dollars or 90 euros or whatever on something like that. If you can't afford it and you like it, by all means, go on and uh, do it. I'm not here to judge, I'm just showing you and uh, talk about my observations. All right, last one is the Bellroy flip case, I think it's called. Um, nine cards won't fit. The way I usually do it is I put driver's license and personal ID card here in the front. You can just drop them in. They will rattle a little bit, but as you can see, you can easily get to your cards. Here in the back, well, let's try seven cards. And um, as you can see, it's a snug fit, but it fits. So I'm impressed. I didn't think it would hold nine cards, but now the money, yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to work. You can't, no. Maybe on the other side. Yeah, you, you can fit it in here, but that's not how I would like it. So let's take two cards out, which makes um, four cards here and two in the front makes six cards. And now your money should fit easily. So six cards and some cash or nine cards and no cash. I think it's a really, it's a great look. This is the plum version of it. I wanted to do something different because I always have like brown or black, or whatever. And this is the plum version. 
and it's really well made. It's not cheap. It's also really expensive, but it looks rather classy if you put it in your front pocket or in a sling bag or whatever your preference is there. And it's easy to get to your front card because the next, next thing is if you want to get the cards in the middle, you kind of have to get them out like this and begin to sort through, which is, it seems to be like always a problem with these kind of cases, um, like with the rich and uh, the secret does it a little bit better. And even the spocket one, if you have a card behind it, it's not that easy. But then in the end, a lot of people uh, nowadays, well, at least I, pay with their phone or whatever so you use cards less and less and less but it's always good to have them on you so i would recommend that you buy the one that you really 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 like and um, stick with it don't do it like i do and spend like hundreds of dollars for such a small item you know, a lot of people have told me I'm not a very smart man, and um, I think they're right. Because that's what I accumulated in the last couple of years, and I'm still not sure which is my favorite. Um, I hardly or never use the MagSafe wallets because, I don't know, um, they're too easy to fall off when you put your um, phone in your front pocket and stuff like that. I also, also don't use this one. I thought I would like it. Oh, there's a card here. Uh, I thought I would like it, but I really don't. I don't like that all my cards stick out. I mean, it's easy to see them, but um, I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. I'm kind of torn between the reform if I have to use like a lot of cards, like seven, eight, nine, ten cards, then this is a good alternative. But it's a little bit loose. And I'm always afraid that the money will fall out if I don't load it out like to the max. But it's a good wallet, also not cheap. The Rich Wallet, great quality, really well made, but it's not that easy to get to your cards. So you have to organize your cards a little bit better than with some of the other models. The Spocket one, really cheap alternative, really holds up well. And um, if you go to their website, I think I will link it down below, you will see that they have a ton of different designs. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money and need something that, well, holds up, but well, it kind of looks a little bit changed up after a few years, but hey, you can buy another one for just 10, 15 bucks and you're okay, you're good to go. So the secret one is one of my favorites because it's really well made, it looks classy, has a ton of space. You can put like uh, your, your, your cash in here, two additional thing, uh, 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 Two additional dinghies, I would say, but that's not a boat. Uh, two additional pockets here, and obviously this mechanism. Me I'm really words are really hard, you know. Mechanism, and um, it kind of doesn't always work because it's really that old. But who knows? And the last one, the Bellroy one. I really like that. I carry that one a lot because it's really classy. And um, usually I do not carry more than five cards with me. So this is really fine. Okay, so that's it. What's your favorite of all those? Or maybe you have something else. You can uh, always tell me in the comments which wallet you prefer. And maybe I need to try it out because I only have nine lying around here. And I really, I think I need more. All right, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.